Hi, this is Les for That's My Entertainment. Of course, we're here at Comic-Con, and I'm lucky enough to be speaking with my Batman, Kevin Conroy. Good with, to see you, Les. Howard. Good to see you. With Batman Beyond, uh, they jumped ahead in time, which allowed for such a wild new visual look. But for you as a voice actor playing Bruce Wayne again, what was the favorite or best choice that you got to make or best challenge you found in getting to take this character on as an older well, character? The nice, the nice thing I found about playing him in, as an 80-year-old was that they didn't portray him as, an, as a doddering, weak old man. Yeah, he wasn't this old character. He was still a very powerful... Um, he had incredible um, intensity and strength, inner strength. Mm -hmm. uh, what he doesn't have a lot of anymore is, is fortitude. He can't keep it up a lot, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, he, he, he gets winded easily, but he can still take out a villain but then he gets winded. Mm. So he knows that he has that weakness in him. So even though he's 80s, he's a powerful 80-year-old man. Um, it's kind of like the lion in winter, you know what I mean? Mm. And it's a great character to play. He's, he's, he's a reluctant, he's reluctantly pass, passing on the mantle. He knows he has to, but he doesn't want to. Did learning that new aspect of, of Bruce's eventual life uh, influence your future portrayals of the character? Sure, sure. Um, being aware of your own mor mortality always affects everything you do. Um, there was an invulnerable quality to Bruce Wayne mm -hmm. in the animated series and Batman and Robin and Justice League. Uh, in this, suddenly he's aware of his mortality uh, and the passage of time. Mm. And yeah, that definitely uh, influences the performance. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk sure, to me about it. To I really appreciate Take it. Care. This is Kevin Conroy, the voice of Batman. That's my entertainment. What's yours?